So today we're going to talk about like emergency bags for your car. I guess you don't really necessarily have to call them an emergency bag. I use my bag a lot. It's just a bag that I keep in the car of stuff for my son. He's nine months old, but it's not necessarily like his diaper bag. I feel like his diaper bag goes a lot of places. It comes inside, it goes outside. We take the restaurants, all this stuff. This is a bag. It's just a small little bag that I keep in the car at all times. That way I know I have these necessities in the car and it's not like, oh my gosh, did I stock up his diaper bag from the first time we used it? So I like to be prepared. I've always been a very, very prepared person. I like to make lists. I like to overpack. It's, I get enjoyment out of it. It's so odd, but that's what I do. So today I'm gonna to talk about everything that I keep in the car at all times. So I registered for an Amazon baby registry and a Target baby registry and they give you these bags. I highly suggest doing that because you actually get a ton of sample products. Some of our bags even had like onesies in there. They had a, um, a swaddle in there. They had bottles like Dr. Brown's bottles, like draft samples. So highly suggest signing up for registries at Target and Amazon just to get the little swag bag. There's a lot of fun stuff in there and I use my bag all the time. So what I like to do, I have a Forerunner, so it's a bigger SUV. It's nice because I can use the back trunk as a changing table. I've done this a lot. I personally think it's a lot better than doing like a restaurant bathroom or a bar restaurant or a brewery bathroom or like a a gas station bathroom use the back of your car I never thought about that and I saw someone doing it one time and I was like oh that's so genius because you can put down your own stuff and you don't have to worry as much about your baby touching things that you don't want them to touch again my son's nine months old wrestling him at this point is the only way that you can get his diaper on and off and it's just I don't want to touch anything in a bathroom so the back of the car works so much better and you just need a few things to make a little changing station in the back of your car obviously you have to have diapers i usually just keep two or three in the back of the car you do need to remember to update your diapers every now and then i was looking the other day and there's like size two diapers in the back of the car and he's in size four now so those would not have worked but i always keep Obviously, you need a little changing pad and then some wipes. Doesn't matter what kind you get. This little changing pad actually came, it's from Pampers. It's really cute. It has like the little Pampers logo on it. It actually came in the bag, like this little bag from Target Registry had this inside of it. And then it also had just like a few little diapers in there. And then it also had this sample of wipes from the Honest Company. Let's focus. But I like using little sample trial size bags of like wipes and like detergents and soaps and all this stuff in situations where I don't need a lot of them. I will throw like the little travel sizes like in my purse or like in the bag I keep in the car just because that way you don't have to carry around like 115 pack of you know wipes. I personally buy our wipes from Target like in the big bulk boxes and it, it's the cheapest way to do it but you don't really want to necessarily carry around 115 wipes at all times. So keeping these little travel trial size bags are really really good for that situation so i always have these in the back of the car and then i also suggest carrying a swaddle so a swaddle is something that a lot of times people just think of as like a blanket or a wrap but you can do so much with a swaddle you can lay it down and make an area that's like a clean area for you to change them on you can lay it on the grass if you need or want them to play you can wrap it like around them if you need warmth you can also use it across your car seat if you want to like block wind out or if it's like kind of rain a little bit so you can do a lot with a swaddle so I would highly suggest keeping one in the car they're also very large like most of them are very large blankets and the material is very breathable they're cotton it's really nice to have for a lot of different reasons like I just said I also keep doggy poop bags I know that sounds odd but doggy poop bags are one of the most important things that you can have in your diaper bag. I actually keep these in the car and I keep them in the diaper bag. Reason being is because that way when you change a diaper, you can put the dirty diaper in the bag, tie it up. That way you might not be next to a trash can and you don't have to just put a stinky diaper in the back of your car. Obviously it's still gonna smell a little bit, but it definitely helps reduce the smell. They're also good in case somebody gets sick in the car or if your baby spits up, you can put their dirty clothes in the bag as well. And that way it keeps those separated from the clean things that's either in your bag or in your car. Car. So doggy poop bags have actually saved me multiple times. This was like a whole roll. I don't know if you know how big a normal like size doggy poop roll is. They're like that big, but these have been used a ton. So I actually need to almost put a new one in there. Another thing that I keep in the car. I know this sounds crazy, but I actually keep a bottle, water, and formula in the car just in case. 
I live in an area that me needing to pull over on the side of the road and use backup formula from the back of the car is extremely unlikely but I don't want to be stuck somewhere and my baby not have food. Now, my son eats real food now, like adult food, so if we had to, we could stop and buy something, but a few months ago when he was strictly on formula, it is scary because you just don't know, like, if you get stuck somewhere and you don't have formula for them, what are you going to do? So I, again, like to overpack. I like to be prepared, so I just kept one in the back of the car at all times. It's really easy to do. I just used one of his older bottles, so this is just a four ounce bottle, and then I just have a little, like, bottle of water that we got free from something I'm sure it's like eight ounces and then I keep just a baggie full of formula and the little scoop from the formula in the back of the car that way I know in case something happens I can make eight ounces of milk for him which will actually carry him for a while at this point he's drinking like six ounce bottles and he only takes like four a day but he also eats food on top of that but I know if I get stuck in a situation, I have a bottle that's going to keep him full for at least an hour, two hours, something like that in emergent situations. So I think it's something to do. That's a good thing that I would suggest everybody else to do too. I also keep just some sample products that were in like the giveaway bags in this bag. I have like a little sample of like Aquaphor baby ointment in case you get a diaper rash. These are like the little boogie wipes in case we need those. And then I keep like a little sample of like lotion. Obviously, it's not going to be something I'm going to use a lot. I'm going to be like randomly lotioning him, but he does have eczema and sometimes I do get stuck and I need to like lotion his face or something that's irritated. So I like to keep those in the car as well. They all fit in this nice little bag and then I just put the bag in the back of the car. I'll show you how I kind of like tuck it in the side of our car and I just keep it in there all the time. That way I know I have his stuff. I know I'm prepared. I also keep a sun hat. I keep sunscreen and a jacket in the car too at all times. Again, Probably don't need to do that. It's kind of overkill, but I have the room for it in my car. It does not take long to prepare this stuff. And if you think ahead, then you don't get stuck in situations and be like, oh man, I wish I had sunscreen or I wish I had his hat. You don't want to miss out in a situation just because you're not prepared for it. So if the timing comes up that we get to pull over on the side of the road and go play on some swing set, I'll be ready. So we also just have the basic setup for the car we have the little sun shade for the window that's actually something that i would highly suggest i was noticing like when we were coming back from daycare a lot of times like he would start to get fussy just a little bit and i would look in the mirror and the sun was just like blazing like right in his eyes so we got one of those little window shades for the back window that helped a ton we also just have like the typical mirror that you put on the back seat headdress that way you can see his face that helps a ton and then we also have just this little like toy thing that goes on his car seat it's really funny because like we've had it since he's been really really little and he wasn't big enough to like play with it or anything but we'd always like you know push the button while we were putting him in the car seat to try to keep him like preoccupied and stuff so he wouldn't cry and like one day we were going down the road and we heard it turn on himself and then we realized that he was old enough that he could actually play with it so it's a really cool thing we've actually used it so much that we've had to change the batteries out so I would highly suggest using it my son absolutely loves it he's nine months old now we have been using it since the time he was born literally it's been in there the entire time so highly suggest getting one of those as well and then I do keep a few other things in the car just as backup I keep like we have a travel um high chair I keep in the back of the car and then we also keep like just blankets raincoats stuff like that in the back of the car just in case we need them so hopefully this helps hopefully this keeps you organized and makes life a little bit easier for you again my life is organized chaos it's just what it is and this is what I do to make things just a little bit easier I think that's all